A strong direct trauma over the nail frequently produces a hematoma that is located between the nail bed and the fingernail. The Zapangual hematoma is evidenced as a dark discoloration beneath the nail. In some cases, it is adequate to rule out any underlying fracture. X-rays can be taken if the nature of the trauma or the physical findings suggest this possibility. Lacerations of the nail bed can also be determined by a physical exam as they require suturing. Nail edges and margins that are not intact may be indicative of such a possibility. Always check for possible extensor tendon injuries. Trephination is indicated to relieve pain from the subungual hematoma when the nail edges are unaffected. The decision to perform this procedure is based on the degree of pain rather than the size of the hematoma. The drainage will not prevent any local infection and will not facilitate healing. It will only relieve pain. The equipment needed includes disinfecting solution, a paper clip, non-sterile gloves, topical antibiotic, sterile gauzes, a flame source. A needle holder is optional. It can facilitate the procedure as it helps to avoid burning the fingers when holding the hot paper clip while applying firm pressure over the area to be drained. Alternatively, an electrocolory pen can be used or a 16 gauge needle. Explain the procedure to the patient, expected time for healing, risks and benefits. A digital block is seldom performed as it can be more painful than the procedure itself. Place the patient in a comfortable position and ensure that the affected foot or hand is well supported. If a paper clip is being used, heat up the end of the paper clip using a flame. Once heated, apply pressure over the center of the hematoma to melt a hole into the nail until the hematoma is reached and blood starts to drain out. Multiple holes may be needed to fully drain a large hematoma. When using electrocautery, the procedure of melting a hole is similar as when using a paper clip, but some patients may find it more painful. When using a needle, twirl the needle while exerting pressure against the nail until the blood starts to drain. Once the subungual hematoma has been drained, apply a topical antibiotic and dress the area with a gauze. Advise the patient to keep the toe or finger dry and to avoid soaking it for two or three days. The patient has to wait until the nail grows back and the hematoma is discarded, a process that could take about six months. If further soft tissue injury exists, Advice to keep the affected hand or foot elevated, to apply cold compresses and to provide analgesia. No complications are expected, but if the tool is advanced too deeply, the nail bed can be injured and deformity to the nail can be induced. There is the possibility of infection and also of ineffective drainage if the hole is not large enough. The procedure is contraindicated if there is need to explore the nail bed for lacerations. The procedure is not indicated if pain is absent, and the use of electrocautery is contraindicated when acrylic nails are worn as they are flammable.